What is up everybody? We are picking up a trailer for the Overland build that we're going to be doing and building a teardrop. Well, it's kind of an off-road teardrop trailer and making a little more room for us so when we go off-roading again and continue to go down this path, we have a little more storage and a little bit more comfort, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys all seeing us today and here is our newest project. So you, most of you guys, if you haven't seen the video, it's gonna be up here in the upper right hand corner. We actually just got back from Portsmouth Island and this is the next thing that we're gonna be working on building is a off-road custom DIY teardrop trailer. So let's get started and we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so here it is. The trailer we are gonna use to turn into a off-road custom. It's gonna be similar to a teardrop trailer, but not as quite. It's gonna be more square and more ruggedized. And we're actually gonna be lifting it up, matching the bolt pattern to the Bronco over there. So that we have the same set of wheels and tires all the way around so if something happens we can always replace them and yeah so we're looking forward to it we're basically going to be stripping a lot of this stuff down and getting it ready for the build which we already picked up some lumber some three quarter inch plywood pressure treated lumber and yeah so now that you guys see the trailer let's start getting her all torn apart and getting her ready so here we go. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a mess to clean up from banging that stuff off, getting the trailer lights off. We still got the fenders we got to get cut off, but we're going to start stripping this down and sand, or, uh, using our um, nylon brush to start roughing it all up so we can start getting it painted. And then we'll start getting the stuff here. Get the floor laid down and start laying out the how the sides are going to be and start getting some of the stuff cut up. And yeah, so. Here's the, here's the step up for this. We basically just took and cut the lights off there from the welds. Those were not, I'm, I'm assuming they kept falling or something, so that's why somebody welded them. This is a Harbor Freight trailer, as you can tell, this folds in half, um, but somebody welded some of this stuff, but we're gonna grind this down, and we're actually gonna re-weld some of this stuff so it's a little bit thicker and a little bit better, because you saw from the time lapse over there, that one came off pretty easy. I don't know if we're going to be keeping this front rail that somebody welded on here. It is kind of nice. Um, I don't know yet, so we'll see. But, like I said, got the light off over there. We got these fenders here. We're going to be ready to use the sawzall to chop those off real quick. And then start cleaning up the frame really good. And getting it all prepped up for some paint.
Okay, so my GoPro battery is starting to die, so I just wanted to give you guys an update. Here it is. This is basically the base is going to be flipped 180 degrees, so the 2x4s actually bolt to this trailer. And then the other side will be the flooring, so I just want to kind of show you guys what's going on here. And I'm going to go change the battery real quick, and we'll keep chugging along. Okay. So instead of actually changing my battery, I decided to do something different. So the Jackery 240 Explorer. We're gonna use that to help charge this while we're moving to show the portability of if you're out in the field and doing different things. I know we're, we got USB and we got power everywhere, but here's a shot for us to do that. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check up here on the right hand corner, you'll be able to see it. Um, kind of a quick review of what the Jackery can, uh, of what I think of it and what it was capable of. We're going to be doing another review that actually gives more detail as far as what it's actually fully capable of, like how the fridge didn't last one night, but then we realized I had it set too cold and whatnot. So make sure you watch that video. Also, if you're liking this video so far, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. That's how that's what helps uh, keep these projects going and helps get us there. So we're going to continue away. We're going to get the bottom of these uh, screws chopped off on the bottom. Get it smooth, flip it over, do the same thing to the bottom one, uh, the top ones, and we're going to start lining it up on where we need to drill some holes. And then we're going to get some lag bolts and actually bolt it to the trailer, um, mock it up before we go and paint it. And then once we get that all done, we're going to start getting it all painted and ready to go. Okay, so here's the update. We got the bolts in. I had to run a um, stock field here in town, apologize. But while we ran, we let the GoPro charge up a little bit with the what is it the jackery so yeah worked out really good but basically we picked up the carriage bolts galvanized plus we got some lock washers and some nuts for it and flat washers and basically we're just putting the bolt through and then up underneath we're doing a flat washer a lock washer and then a nut and we've gone four in the back four in the front and then three on the sides here to help kind of hold it down and then once we get that all done this board will be coming back up and we will start prepping the rest of the trailer we got the holes all drilled lined this is kind of just mock up so that when we put the board back on there we know exactly where it needs to go um, we did measure about 15 times um, because of this we do want to keep the rail here which I might fix a little bit of that because it's kind of welded together and looks like crap over there but we'll fix that but I left just enough gap there so we can slide the board down, anchor it to the front, and we'll start getting ready for the sidewalls. So I hope you guys like this video. We're gonna wrap it up for today. Um, basically this was the video here, getting it stripped down from all the old parts and then getting the new floor and the frame and everything all set up um, so that we, we can start, start building the walls up and building the roof and going from there and outlining where the where doors are going to go, the windows, all that kind of stuff, running some electrical and start getting it ready. So, um, if I haven't told you guys, we are looking to go to SEMA this year. Um, we're not actually not going to be getting a booth. We're going to be going out there to meet up with a couple people and show off the rig. We're going to be showing off the Bronco. We're going to be showing off the trailer. And so hope you guys like this video. Not much more I can say on this one here. I know it's getting a little bit late here, but yeah. So um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys like this video, make sure you like it. That's how we're starting to get some of our content built up for this um, and start getting some of our subscribers that we're, or I'm sorry, some uh, sponsorships that we're working with a couple people on to uh, build up the Bronco, this, and then uh, full-size Bronco as well too. So see you guys next time. I'm Kenny Ayersman. Peace.